Hello again, and today we are installing another Zappi. This is another non-standard install, so I thought you might like to see this one. What we have is a cast concrete garage with its own supply from the house. Now, this you may find interesting if you have a supply to your garage from your consume unit in your house. Is it sufficient? We can talk about that. Also, how do we attach a charger to a cast concrete garage? We'll also run through that. Let's take a look. If you have a consume unit in your garage and it looks something like this, and you may ask yourself, well, what's wrong with that consume unit? Why can't we utilize that? Well, there's a couple of things, basically. First thing is hanging off the wall, so that's no good. Secondly, inside, we've got a 40 amp RCCB. It's actually type AC, which is no good. We need a type A for the charger. The charger's actually got built-in type A RCD. So it's a good idea just to upgrade these consume units, to be honest with you. So I put in a new fire-rated consume unit with surge protection. We're gonna have RCBOs in here protecting the lighting and the power circuit. And we're gonna have a 32 amp MCB for the Zappi charger. I'm going to be using the storm glands today to terminate my SWA cable. If you're not using storm glands, give them a go, they're really good. Um, they also come with an earthing kit, so they come with an earthing nut and some lugs, so you can just get the whole job done with this one little pack, they're really good. Now I know if you're a Sparks and you're watching this now, you can see that I have the grey as the earth and the black as the neutral. I know you're supposed to denutralize the black, but in this case, I'm just using the same colors that are existing in the rest of the property, but I'm identifying them all, so.
So I've done a few EV installs now inside these concrete garages. And what I found is you can't fix the concrete. The concrete's too thin. It also shatters and it invalidates the warranty if it's a new one. And obviously that's a concern of yours. So I've been using this Evo stick. Really, really good. Strong as you like. Goes off in 15 minutes. I'll show you how strong it is. I'll try and pull this board off the wall. It's not going anywhere, so it's really good. If you need to use any adhesive to, in any of these garages, just use that, it's great. As we all now know, the regulations have changed and all the chargers must now be smart. So this is one of the new Zappies. I'm not gonna to talk too much about that in this video. I'm gonna do another Zappi install later on in the week where I'm gonna compare the old Zappies with the new Zappies and run through what's different. With this particular installation, I'm gonna be installing two CTs. One CT I'm gonna to use to protect this circuit that is fed from the house and the other CT I'm gonna use for the grid load limit. Okay, so with this installation, I did have a connectivity issue with the internet. So what I have done is I've installed a TP link here and they're all connected up fine. So I mentioned CTs earlier on in the day. So what I've got in here is a CT, which is gonna protect this garage circuit. I've also installed a secondary CT, which is inside the house for the grid limit. There is the TP link, which I'm using for the internet connectivity for the Zappi. Here's the new consumer unit. Inside the consumer unit, you can see we've got the surge protection and MCB and some RCBOs. And over here, there we have the finished installed Zappi. Okay, I'd like to say a big thank you for everyone who has um, subscribed to my channel. Really appreciate it. Please like, follow and subscribe. Hit the thumbs up button. Also, follow me on Instagram and Facebook.